In a world where Hollywood has completely run out of original ideas, one company dared to make the movie no one else thought was a good idea. From the studio who brought you the Angry Birds movie, and the all-girls Ghostbuster movie that flopped real fucking hard. That stuff went everywhere, by the way, in every crack. This summer, texting on your iPhone will never be the same. He's making the wrong face! <laughs> Meet Gene. He's a meh emoji inside a young boy's iPhone. And life seemed to be great in emoji land. Until now. Son, please tell me you weren't laughing just now. Looks like Gene is about to embark on a journey to find out what it really means to be an emoji. Will Gene be able to control his emotions and be the meh emoji he was born to be? Or will this little boy's iPhone never get the right emojis again? Find out this summer, July 2017. Or, you know, you can spend your 15 bucks on a real movie, like the dozen or so legit blockbusters lined up for this summer, such as Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Wonder Woman, The Mummy, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tales, War of the Planet of the Apes, Spider-Man Homecoming, Atomic Blonde, and Dark Tower, just to name a few. So, if you've seen all of these movies and you still have some money, sure, go see the Emoji Movie. But, if not, see the good movies first, guys. Now, to be fair, I can see those blockbusters not being the best movies for kids. So, here are the better kids movies to see this summer. The Smurfs 3, Despicable Me 3, Cars 3, and The Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature. Damn, you know what? I'm not even sure if those movies are better. Now that I think of it, kids animated movies are getting pretty fucking lacking this year. It's sad to say this, but the Emoji movie is the only major one that's not a sequel. And even though it's based on a cell phone thing, it's kind of an original idea. Come on, Hollywood, Pixar, DreamWorks, all the animated made at studios? Illumination? You know it's getting pretty pathetic when the Emoji Movie is the most original animated movie of the summer. Now that's some bullshit. Pixar, for example, used to be a bastion of originality and creativity before it shifted into full sequel mode over the last few years. Toy Story 3, Cars 2, Monsters Inc. 2, Finding Nemo 2, and now this summer, Cars fucking 3. Even after Cars 2 was a total disaster. Well, the story and execution was. I'm sure it still made shitloads of money. That's why the they're making a third one. Cars 2 was basically the Mater movie, and anything more than five minutes of Larry the Cable Guy is probably too much. My name is Mater, and I'll be your waiter. <laughs> Mater the waiter. That's funny right there. Fortunately, it looks like Pixar toned down the Mater parts for this new one, so we'll see. A company that should get some bonus points for originality over the last year is DreamWorks. DreamWorks Animations, who, while heavily drawing from source materials, has managed to avoid making cash-grabbing sequels over this last year. Trolls from last fall, Boss Baby from a month ago, and this summer's Captain Underpants movie, which, while I'm not familiar with the book and the TV show stuff, I'm glad to see DreamWorks is trying new things lately. But before we give them too much credit, DreamWorks probably had no choice but to try and make new franchises, since they already milked the Kung Fu Panda and Madagascar movies to death. Oh, God, I hope we don't see any more of those. In the end, the Emoji movie looks stupid, sure. How the hell can you make a movie about texting, right? But at least it is a new story, and at least they're trying to make a new franchise rather than all these other companies who are relying on sequels this year. And to be honest, the cast looks pretty impressive too for the Emoji movie. TJ Miller's the lead, and I think he's hilarious. But then again, all these kids' animated movies have legit actors voicing for them nowadays. So it's hard to say if that's enough to make it a good movie. What do you guys think? Does the Emoji movie look dumb as fuck? What movies do you want to see this summer? Comment below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time. One more thing, I want to give a special thanks to these amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are the best, you guys went above and beyond the rest, and I love you so much for it. If anyone else wants to donate or join our Patreon crew, link in the description. We're going to be setting up more videos and live streams very soon. Thanks again.